I really like the bike. I do have two complaints about the bike. The first one is the, the hand grips. They are they're very uh, hard, number one. There's no cushion in them. Number two, the diameter is a little too small for my hands. And my, my hands are literally falling asleep. It's borderline painful. So I, I looked around and I, I found some leather leather wraps that I'm going to put on the grips and I think that's going to help with that problem and the, really the only other thing that I could probably complain about is the suspension uh, over over rough rough road the front forks seem a little mushy and uh, but this bike was built for a price point and uh, I understand that. So I'm going to go ahead with these modifications and see what happens. Got our headlight, we've got the daytime, the daytime flash here. This bike does have a daytime flasher that you can use. It's really good, especially here in the Philippines. Uh, high beams, flashing high beams are just as important, or more important than a turn signal around here. If someone flashes high beams, that means whoever flashes their high beams first has it right away. I think that's how it works. So the um, the cables that come with this are already pre-terminated, and I may have ordered more than I needed because obviously it came from England. I didn't want to come up short, and I, I even put a note on the order form that says, "Please give this a sanity check." for the Royal Enfield and I told them I have a fly screen and I want to make sure it works with that. So these, these little spacers might be what I need 
I'm gonna have to look on the website and make sure I'm putting this all together right. This is the, for the rear. Front wire adapter. Front wire adapter. So these, these new signals have uh, not a barrel connector but it's a uh, your, your standard male female plug whereas the factory has this type of plug you know the plastic locking plug and receptacle so this these adapters are for to take care of that and this Forget what this was for. I ordered it anyway, in case I needed it. But it was. Let me check the website. <laughs> Find out what they're for. And I'll try to fit this spacer up. I imagine that spacer might. Whoops. Might go on here. Just so you know that this isn't a how-to channel. This is a mic channel. But if anybody can benefit from my experiences, that's what it's really for. Because I'm going to the how-to channels to figure this out. So the, these adapters that I, I purchased, it's, for, it's a adapter for the front, and I'm not sure I'm going to need those because what what the kit really uh, really ha has, they ha they have a kit with a aluminum uh, headlight bracket, uh, but that wouldn't work with my fly screen, so that's why I ordered the parts separately and did not get the bracket. So I may not need these. But this, this plastic adapter here, kind of a bushing, it looks like that's where it's gonna go. But then, how are you gonna tighten that up? It's way too short. Way too short. All right, so the bad news is they didn't, uh, they didn't read my note and I'm missing a front mount uh, adapter kit as well as the rear mount adapter kit. So I wish you would have read my note. Okay, that's my fault but I'll figure a way out. So I'm gonna take the blame for not having that adapter kit, but that's the way it is. But maybe I can repurpose the old turn signals use the uh, the mount, the threaded portion of the mount, and adapt it to the new turn signal. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm still thinking about it. So back on the, on the original problem with the front turn signals, there was uh, a, an adapter something like this that I didn't order and I had no way to attach the turn signals to the, the OEM headlight bracket, which I, I like the, 
this bracket. It's, it's beefy, it's nice, looks like it's powder coated. Uh, but anyway, the original turn signal mounts were too short, so I couldn't get a nut on the back side. So I got on to Lazada here, which is our Asia Pacific uh, Amazon, and I found these 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter uh, hollow threaded rod, and I was happy that I found that because it's, it's going to work perfect. It's hollow, just like the uh, the short adapters that came with turn signal, so all the wiring fits through with no problem. And I will use the bolt and washer that came with the turn signals on the outside. And I'll use a lock washer and nut on the inside. And I'm just gonna trim this down so the turn signal is gonna be as close as the rear ones. It's gonna be butted up right here to the bracket. So you won't see any of the threaded rod. It'll, it'll just be a nice clean look. And I know the turn signals will be really in, really in close, but they're so bright, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So here's an example of the, see this is the original mount for the turn signals. And this works with their, uh, their aftermarket headlight bracket. But with the stock bracket, you see how it's, it's just too short. And that's not an indictment against tech parts. It's just, I didn't know that this was gonna be that short. So just here's what I did. I, I trimmed down that 10 millimeter hollow pipe thread, threaded, threaded rod and got a lock washer here on this side and the aftermarket nut and washer for the turn signal and the threaded rod is threaded uh, inside of the turn signal just like this and so now I have lock nuts on both sides to get it where I want and lock it down here's what it looks like before I tighten things down threaded rod in here wire through and I'm gonna this side has a has a, a wire management bracket that I, I can still use around here and like that and then it's just a matter of hooking up the terminals and the the headlight or the uh, turn signal kit does come with extenders so it not only extends it but it allows you to forego doing any wire uh, crimping or soldering everything plugs right into the OEM connectors on this side and then barrel connector and bullet connector on this side and I just did a little quick test and everything's working so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together I'm gonna keep going and update you later on